Where my dogs at? Where my dogs at? Where my dogs at? Where my dogs at? You feel me? What's good, certified gang? It's your boy Keiko, and I'm back with another video. Back with another banger. Welcome back to More Than Football. You already know what it is, man. Today, I have a video that's highly anticipated, bro. Today, we are going helmet shopping. Big forehead and a helmet. Now, just a few days ago, my season schedule was released, so just stay tuned for that video. I'll probably drop that tomorrow. But man, my season is kind of far away, but not really at the same time. So it's time to prepare and get my equipment right. And I know a lot of y'all probably watching right now is like, hey, Keiko, if you play semi-pro or development or wherever you want to call it, how come you have to get your own equipment? Well, when the semi-pro see the thing is, bro, you gotta get your own equipment. You gotta get your own helmet, on shoulder pads, on cleats. If you wanna be drippy on the field, you gotta all get it yourself. I'm pretty sure there's some developmental leagues out there where they provide, you know, equipment for players. But from what I know, most teams, you gotta buy everything yourself. Now, if you've been paying attention to the videos, I've already mentioned kind of what helmet I was leaning towards, but I just may surprise you this video. This really is gonna be like an online shopping vid just because I don't really know a lot of places that sell adult football helmets in person, you feel me? I don't want my shopping videos to be just me like shopping for things. I want it to be informational as well. I'm gonna just show you all some different websites and stuff, but from where I bought my helmet from, I got it for a deal, bro. When I tell you I got my helmet for $150, and the price it goes for a brand new is $400, bro, I got a steal, you feel me? I'm gonna teach y'all how to get helmet steals, you feel me? I'm gonna teach y'all how to get good prices for helmets. You just gotta do a little bit of searching on websites. So with that being said, let's get into today's video, man. Helmet shopping with the semi-pro football player, man. I'm gonna show you these deals and steals. Let's get right to it. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on IG, and let's get this helmet, baby. All right, certified gang, let's cue the shopping music, bro. Make sure you guys hit that like button, because I'm telling y'all, when y'all see the helmet that I get and for the price that I got it for, you're going to be like, bro, how did he get that, bro? I'm telling you, just do your research, you hear me? But anyway, first store today we're going to look at, man, is Green Gridiron, bro. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know who Green Gridiron is, bro. They have a great YouTube channel, great company, great business and everything like that, bro. If you're watching this Green Gridiron, shout out to y'all, bro. This is the helmet part of their website right here. And they got field use helmets and collectible helmets. Now, obviously, we're going to be looking for field use. You feel me? Now, they do have a lot of sales a lot of time. And I do pay attention to their website, bro. Let me know down below. Do you guys like the Riddell Speed Flex better or the Shet F7? Last year, I had the Shet F7. I ended up selling it. And I feel like for the Shet F7, you got to have a certain head for it, for it to look right on you. You feel me? But, um, they got the Riddell Speed Flex. And they got it for $3.95. You know what I'm saying? That is a lot of money. And I know there's a lot of people looking for deals and everything like that. So shelling out $400 may not be the best option for you. But they do have sales frequently, like I said, man. They got the F7 on here for $300 exactly. Probably with tax, you'll probably end up paying, what, I don't know, $325, $330, something like that. But that's a good price for those because I remember when those first came out, um, I think last year I paid 300 for the one that I bought. Yeah, it looks like they don't have any regular Riddell Speeds uh, in stock, but that is something that they carry as well. And they, you can see this one is the Victor one, the Youth, $80.99. Uh, they even got a Shut Vengeance, you feel me? Youth, $99 and everything like that. They also do sell face masks and everything like that. And the helmet that I bought, uh, I'm gonna have to get a new face mask for it because y'all see. This is pretty much green gridiron, bro. Um, they sell accessories as well. I think they sell visors, chin straps. I need to get another one of those as well. They sell decals and everything like that, bro. A very, very reliable site, 100% legit, and you're getting brand new equipment, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Green Gridiron, but this is not where I will be buying my helmet today. The next website I wanna show you guys is Sports Unlimited, bro. Now, Sports Unlimited, that's where I bought my uh, Shet F7 last year because they had like a little Black Friday sale or whatever. Um, they usually have a lot of sales on this website as well, but this website, they sell more than just football equipment. They sell baseball, basketball, field, hockey, more sports, you know what I'm saying? All types of, all types of stuff. Shout out you, Sports Unlimited, bro. So here is the helmet section, bro. And I know right here it shows their helmets like within a price range. The reason it says that because like different colors and different colorways of the helmet are going to cost either more or less. You feel me? And as you can see, compared to Green Gridiron, Force Unlimited is a little bit more money when you talk about the Riddell Speed Flex. I mean, that's four hundred and ten dollars, four hundred and forty at the most. You feel me? And the Shet F7 is three fifty to almost four hundred dollars as well. Uh, look like they got another Shet Vengeance. They got the Shut Recruit Hybrid. You 
feel me? Look, bro, I don't even know what this is, bro, but the Light Helmet LS1. Y'all let me know, like, what brand makes it. I don't know if it's their own brand or whatever is going on with that, but I've never seen somebody with that helmet before. They even got the regular Riddell Speed on here, man. That's a classic helmet. That's the helmet that I had. I think my junior and senior year of high school, I had the, uh, I had the Revo Speed, bro, both years, bro. It's a fire helmet, um, always classic. But I feel like the newer technology and the Flex and the Shut F7 is just a little bit better. Like I said, these prices are a little bit more, but you do get some free two-day shipping on there, so your helmet will get there quick, man. Um, look, they even got this Shut Vengeance right there. They sell face masks as well, and depending on the prices, uh, I could be shopping with them for my face mask. I was about to say the helmet that I got, but I can't tell y'all that yet. Yeah, it looked like I may shop with them because it looked like they face mask may be a little bit cheap. But anyway, Sports Unlimited is not where I bought my helmet from, bro. We are almost there. Next site we're on is eBay. Okay, now eBay is one of them sites that, yes, you do have to be very, very careful of because sometimes there are people that will try to scam you. Now, they do have higher security now so you get your money back, but all you gotta really type in is like whatever helmet you want. How you shop on eBay is you obviously gotta compare sites. You gotta compare prices to like sites like Sports Unlimited, Green Gridiron, stuff like that. Um, Cause you can't find deals on here. Now some of these you have to bid on, but some of them will have where you can just buy it outright and everything like that. This one's 389. This one's got three days left, it's at 255. And that's the only thing I don't like about eBay. It's like, you could try to bid on something and you know you get outbid and then you can't get it you feel me ebay's one of them sites that you can catch a deal here or there you just gotta be like you just gotta have an eye for it you gotta search for it bro um let's look up some other helmets let's look up the shut f7 on here shut f7 i i really like the way the shut f7 looks like you know what i'm saying as far as like looks wise but last year when i was wearing it i just felt like I don't know, I didn't have the right head for it to look right, if that makes sense. But here's a Shut F7 um, 250, you feel me? This is size large, that's my helmet size right there, size large, I got a large head, you feel me? But anyways, another one, 319. Uh, see, like I said, bro, if you look at these prices right here, like you see this one for 319, I would go with Green Gridiron, because Green Gridiron got it for sale for 300, so why would you buy 319, you know what I'm saying? Just do your research before you're gonna buy it. Ooh, that, that shit S7 right there look fire. I ain't gonna play with you right there. That look fire right there, that man, black guy right there. Let me know if y'all want me to rate y'all helmets. Let me know down in the comments. eBay was not the place that I bought my helmet from. Let's show y'all the website that I bought my helmet from and let me tell y'all what helmet that I bought. A lot of y'all, I'm back from Indiana, bro. I don't know about Cali, they don't have a lot of locations out here. But if you're from Indiana, you know about Play It Against Sports. Now let's play it against sports. Play it against sports is basically a place that sells a lot of used equipment. Basically, basically, if you have any used equipment, you want to get money, money for it. You want to get money for it. You take it to play it against sports. They'll give you some money for it. And also at play it again, you can find a lot of stuff for cheap prices. I'm talking about shoulder pads. I'm talking about shoulder pads for $25. I'm talking about helmets for $50, $100 and stuff like that, bro. And with that being said, bro, the helmet that I bought today was a Riddell Speed Flex, bro. Where my Riddell gang at? My Speed Flex gang at, bro. That's the helmet we're going with for this season, man. The Riddell Speed Flex. And I found it here on Play It Against Sports for $150. And I know a lot of y'all probably gonna be like, oh, a lot of y'all probably gonna be like, oh, it's probably a youth helmet. No, bro. Let me show you right here, bro. What's good about Play It Against Sports Online is like all their inventory is inventory from different Play It Against Sports from all around the world. So my helmet is coming from New York. You got me mad tight, B, but anyways, these are the football helmets that they have, man. Look at this, man. A, a used Riddell, a used Riddell Speed Flex, extra large. Now this is a youth edition. You can tell by the inside of the helmet right here that it's used, but this is $150 and 20, plus $20 shipping, bro. That's already saving money right there, but let me show you even better, bro, right here. Used Riddell Speed Flex. It's initial season was 2020, so that means this helmet hasn't even been used. They say it's used, but it's not used, bro. You can see the tags on this, John, bro. Look, this is a brand new helmet right here. And look, this is an adult helmet. You can tell, look, by the inside right here, you can tell on Speed Flexes which ones are youth and which ones are adult by this inside right here, bro, for $150. Dollars, dog. If you guys are ever shopping for helmets or anything like that, I really, really recommend 
play it against sports, bro. Because like I said, the helmet that I bought, I bought it for $150. And let me show you the exact helmet that I bought. So this is the helmet that I bought right here. And I know a lot of y'all probably like, bro, it's navy blue. That's not even your team's colors. Well, my team always paints the helmets. So that don't even matter, bro. The reason I said I got to get a new face mask is because this face mask that it has on it, it's really kind of like a linebacker, running back type face mask. And obviously, I don't play none of them positions, bro. I like the, I like the face mask that got more spaces in them and everything like that. So that would be something I'm buying. I already got some visors that I can put on this. Um, I think I got to get a new chin strap because I'm pretty sure this one is like a navy blue as well. Yeah, I got to get me a black one. But y'all can tell this is an adult helmet right here because the black on the inside. And I ended up paying $169 in total because of the $20 in shipping. But bro, this helmet literally has its tags on it and everything like that, bro. If I would've bought this off another site, I would've paid $400. I would've paid $400 something dollars, bro. That's what's crazy, bro. I really caught a steal on this. So hopefully you guys will shop with Play It Against Sports or just do your more, or just do more research when you're shopping for your equipment in general, bro. A shoulder pad video will be coming up next, but we got this Riddell Speed Flex coming in the mail. If you're Shut Gang, Zenith Gang, all that, man, shout out to y'all too, but I like Riddell the best. So that's who we rocking with this season, man. With that being said, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on IG, and shout out to the Helmet Gang, dog.